Well, good morning from a nice winter morning here in Renton, Washington. I'm going to get out today in 62 Delta Lima and do some instrument approaches. We're going to do something a little different. I've heard on one of the local Washington aviation forums that the controllers at McCord Air Force Base, which is Air Force Base just south of Seattle, uh, are very welcoming of general aviation pilots. They want their controllers to get more experience and it's a great opportunity for general aviation pilots to fly an approach to the military base, which is not something we often get to do. We can't land there. There's lots of military hardware there. They don't want you too close to lots of Globemasters, C-17s, but you, you can fly the ILS approach there. So I spoke to them this morning and they were, they were great about it, very, very welcoming. So I've filed to Olympia, which is south and down near McCord, I'll fly an approach there, then talk to Seattle Approach Control and ask for vectors over to McCord. So hopefully that'll work out. So we'll see how it goes. I've also had a few of you ask about what other things I'm doing in aviation outside of just flying around in a Diamond DA-42. So hopefully I have a little bit of time to talk about that. The main thing I've been working on is my uh, instructor certificate. And that's taking a lot of time right now, but really enjoying it. So hopefully we'll have some, some time to talk about that. So looking forward to having you along. It's recording. And that is recording. And this is recording. And the tail is recording. So we'll go one, two, three. Okay, so we're just getting ready to start the engines. Pretty simple process in the diamonds. So we go through quick checks on each side. So we turn the left engine master on. And see the glow annunciators come on for the diesel engine. The X's are out. We just wait for the glow to go off and then we can start the engines with the key. So watch the flows off, flows off. We call it clear left. And there it goes. Watch the oil pressure. The oil pressure's coming up. Check the bolts and amps on the left side, they look good. Check that there's no annunciator and left engine started. So do the same on the right. Right master on. Glow annunciator's on. The X's are out wait for the glow enunciator to go off. The glow doesn't always come on, it's usually only on colder days. Um, but we're about 13 degrees C here, so there's the glow off, so we can get started. Call on the right, uh, clear right. Yeah, watch the oil pressure, oil pressure's coming up. Bolts and amps on the right look good, and the enunciator's on. Okay, so we've successfully started the engines. I normally turn on the avionics master now and put my headphones on. Check, 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 check. So we will go through the post startup checklists here. So turn the avionics master on. Oil pressure, check, RPM, fuel selectors, put them on cross feed. Pitot heat on, amps go up, pitot heat off, amps go down, clear that. Avionics master's already on. Kilo, and we'll get the flight plan set up. We can transfer the flight plan from our flight plan from our iPad to here. Rent ground, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, ready to copy IFR to Olympia. Twin Star 62 Delta Lima, renting ground, clear to Olympia Airport via the Renton 3 departure, then as filed. Climb via the SID, expect 4,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency, 119.2, squawk 4702. November 62 Delta Lima is cleared to the Olympia Airport. Renton 3 departure then as filed. Climb via the SID, expect 4,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 119.2, squawk 4702. Twin Star 62 Delta Lima, read back, correct, thanks. Thanks. And 2 Delta Lima is ready to taxi from lane hangers, and we have November. Twin Star 2 Delta Lima, runway 16, taxi via Alpha. 16, taxi via Alpha, 2 Delta Lima. Ground, Cessna 271, Romeo, clear. 16, Alpha 3, taxi to Bifa. Cessna 271, Romeo, rent in ground, taxi to Bifa via Alpha. Taxi Bifa via Alpha, Cessna 271, Romeo. Okay. Nice to have the run up area empty, so pull in here. set. To load the Renton 3 departure. 
and we've loaded it, we'll brief it. So we'll be talking to departure airport elevation 32. So climb heading 150, got that in, then left turn to 130. We will be flying on nav to fly the departure, and then we'll set up top altitude at 3000. So put 3000 in. 3000, and flight level change is the climb mode. We'll set power for 92. 92. Okay, we've loaded that, we'll keep the the chart in there and then run engines up to full power before running the ECU test. November 29 Fox Shot, turn right, contact ground point 6. Right, uh, monitor contact 6, turn in Fox. Full contact ground. Okay, looks good. Right, down. 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 Then run the ECU test. Requesting to do some pattern work, I have information of effort. November 4010 Bravo. Left, ECUAB fail, right. ECUAB fail. All right, and they're uh, left downwind, runway 16. So ECU test complete. Responder set. Fuel pumps will turn on. We're on an MFD and the engine page. Release. We're monitoring, monitoring ground. We've got tower in. We'll taxi up to the hold short line. And then call tower. Brenton Tower, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, holding short 16 IFR. Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, Renton Tower, hold short, waiting release. Hold short 162 Delta Lima. November 62 Delta Lima, there's a departure off Boeing field we're waiting for, so it's going to be a couple minutes. Two Delta Lima. All right, November 62 Delta Lima, traffic off the end, that helicopter will be straight out, runway 16, clear for takeoff. 1-6, cleared for takeoff, we have the helicopter inside, 2 Dudley. Okay, lights, camera, action. November. November 83, off like of traffic inbound, about uh, off your nose, actually about two miles westbound. You'll be following him in. Uh, we have that traffic in flight, we'll follow, 923 Alpha. <laughs> in the green. It's good. Release. Airspeed's alive. Times two. Looking for 76. It's 56. 66. 76. Rotate. November 162 Hotel Alpha. Runway 16. Hectoria departure. Clip takeoff. Gear up. Heels on the floor. Runway 16. Clip takeoff. Hectoria departure. 162 Hotel Alpha. Back to 92. Okay, pumps off. Second tower, Skycatcher 52056, holding short, runway 16. Never 056, hold short. Also 1626. Never 0, Bravo Sierra, got to have a line right behind you, has you in sight. Okay, there's 1,000 feet. Never 062, Delta Lima, contact Seattle, departure, so long. Over departure, 2 Delta Lima, thanks. Seattle departure, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, just off Renton, climbing through 1800 for 3000. Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, Seattle approach, Renton, Cat Tech, climbing 4000. Climbing 10 4000, 2 Delta Lima. Gear is up, flaps are up, pumps are off, climb power is set, alternate air is pushed, landing lights and taxi lights off. 2 Delta Lima, turn right, heading 270. Right turn 270, 2 Delta Lima. Heading mode. Right. Right. Coming up on four, four thousand. Getting a nice view of Seattle up there to the north as we fly right over, right over SeaTac. Delta Lima, turn left in 250. Left turn 250, 2 Delta Lima. Mm -hmm. 
Seattle approach, Twin Diamond, 62 Delta Lima is 4,000, and we're just picking up the weather at Olympia. We'll let you know when we have it. 62 Delta Lima, thanks, and I'm unable to see your approach request. 2 Delta Lima. Guys on initial contact, give information Delta. Olympia Tower information Delta, 19540. 62 Delta Lima, flight 230. 230, 2 Delta Lima. Search runway 17 in use. No time information. Runway 17 Pappies are out of service. Please caution for bird activity on and around the airfield. Drive on initial contact of information Delta. Seattle approach. Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima has Delta at Olympia. And 2 Delta Lima would like to fly the ILS 17 at Olympia. And after that low approach, we'd like to fly the ILS 16 at McCord. 162 Delta Lima after the ILS at Olympia, execute the published mist. We'll do the published mist after the um, ILS at Olympia. 2 Delta Lima, thanks. So we'll get set up for the ILS at Olympia now. So, first of all, we'll load it up on here. Charts. And there it is. And so, we have ATIS. We are talking to approach. We'll put the CTAP in. I think we're on the final approach frequency. So that's 124. Number 2 Delta Lima, and you're number 2 for the approach. I just need a little more room there. Turn left heading 170, descend to maintain 3000. Left turn 170 and 3000 for 2 Delta Lima. Shadow approach on the copter, sir. 3140 on the uh, missed approach at Forever 10 with request. Climbing 800, maintain uh, 4000. Army Copter 73140, uh, Seattle Pro's ID. We'll pull power back to 50. Tower frequency. Copy, uh, 4000 will be expecting the wave to the approach. Four. Okay, we've got that in. And we don't plan on landing, but we've got ground in, just in case we need it. 2 Delta Lima, flight in 180. 180, 2 Delta Heading, returning. Okay. Localizer, 11. Nine, one, seven, six. Six, Golf. Okay, and we know that for the ILS, the decision altitude is 407, so we'll put in 410. So we'll load this here. Let's approach ILS 17 at Olympia. And we'll load whom? Arrow 410. And then the published mist is climbed to 1400, Channel approach. then Sky climbed to 5500 outbound uh, on the OLM VOR 176. So actually we'll put in the VOR yeah, as well, echo, uh, just so we have that uh, as a backup. About, uh, and in fact, uh, yeah, we've got the uh, ILS in and it, Olympia VOR is 1.3.4. Uh, Final. Right, 2 Delta Lima, I have a vector towards the uh, final issue. 2 Delta Lima, thanks. Right, 2 Delta Lima, turn right heading uh, 310. 310, 2 Delta Lima. Okay, we bring, let's bring this back back up there. 310. Right, 6 Whiskey Golf, are you with me? Right, zero 08 Echo, there's traffic just heading to your right in a holding pattern at 2100 a uh, Gulf Street. Looks like we're going to be coming in between Yaisu and Apoyu. That'll be at uh, 2,400. Diamond Star 2 Delta Lima, flighting 340. 340, 2 Delta Lima. No, 2 Delta Lima, uh, due to limited radar coverage of Olympia, basically one aircraft in, one out, and uh, the uh, Skyhawk, that's number one, set to do with 40 knots, and they're still about four miles from the field. I'll get you in here shortly. No worries, uh, appreciate the help. 2 Delta Lima, thanks. Uh, ready to terminate, change to advisory is approved, I'll talk to you on the mess. I'll uh, maintain VFR at all times, silver advisory, we'll talk to you on the mess for zero at echo. Uh, 2 Delta Lima, turn left heading on 180 to join the localizer. 180 to join the localizer, 2 Delta Lima. Okay, now we'll arm the approach. So localizer is armed and glide slope is armed. 
For 62 Delta Lima, you're uh, 900 miles from a play. You maintain 3,000 to staff from the localizer. Third dollars for an uh, 17 approach at Olympia. It will maintain 3,000 till established, cleared ILS, 17 approach, and doesn't look like much of an intercept angle. Any chance we get a turn to the right, or you want us to stay here? No, 2 Delta Lima, I was just looking at that. Fighting 200 until established. 200, sounds good. 2 Delta Lima, thanks. Okay, that looks a bit better. Okay, so we will be joining right about a Soyu. So, just to confirm, after a Soyu, we will be able to descend down to 2,400 right now. We stay at 3,000. So we'll put it in that altitude. It's 2,400. Okay, we should be turning there for the intercept. There we go. And after we have passed saw you, which we almost are. Actually, we've got the runway inside there. Just saw you, now we can go down to 2,400. Yes, nose down. Arrow star 111, fly heading is 020, vectors the final. There's a glide slope coming in. 2,400. Localizer. Capture autopilot's on. Uh, 60 Zulu would like to do the RNAV 35 back into uh, Pierce County. Our 62 Delta Lima after the approach, execute the published miss. Uh, Register is terminated. Contact Olympia Tower. We'll talk to you on the go. Over to Tower. We'll talk to you on the published miss 2 Delta Lima. Thanks. Uh, Olympia Tower, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, just coming up on a Poyu on the ILS 17 low approach. Diamond 62 Delta Lima, Olympia Tower, Roger. Runway 17 and 170 at 14 cost 18, cleared for low approach. Clear low approach, 172 Delta Lima, thanks. Okay, glide slips coming in. Okay, gear down. Support you, seven seconds. Gear is down, three green. Pumps on, one notch of flaps. And there's the glide slope captured. Glide slope, and our decision altitude is 410. We do have the runway inside. Okay, coming up on 1500, 1000 feet to go. Just a reminder the published mist is climb to 1400, then climb to 5500. Right, Olympia Tower, Angel 5 ready, ready to go, close traffic for golf. Diamond 62 Delta Lima, traffic will be a Black Hawk helicopter operating well east of runway 17 over to the southeast side. Okay, two Delta Lima will be looking. Okay, 200 feet to go. Do have the Black Hawk inside. Hundred feet to go. Okay, go around, full power, pitch up, okay, there's full power, positive rate of climb, gear up, flaps up, power back to 92. Olympia Tower, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima is missed approach. Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, contact sale departure. Have a good flight. Over to departure, thanks for your help, 2 Delta Lima. Yeah, flight nav. Over to departure. Seattle departure, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, missed approach at Olympia. 2 Delta Lima, Seattle approach, welcome back, stand by. 2 Delta Lima. Diamond 2 Delta Lima, you're ready to contact 5 miles south of Olympia. What's your next request? We'd like to fly the ILS-16 at McCord. Uh, we did check in with them earlier to make sure that was okay. This would be a low approach, and then after that, get vectors back to Renton. Two Lima, you can expect uh, the ILS-16. On completion of the approach, you'll be flying runway heading and maintaining 3,000. 
runway heading and 3000 on the miss, 2 Dudley. 6 2 Dudley, you can amend your altitude now, maintain 4000, fly heading 020 back to maintain. 4000 and 0202 Dudley. And we will select the ILS, so procedure, select approach, accord, ILS, enter. Okay, ILS 601 is the decision altitude. Diamond 2 Delta Lima, descend to maintain, actually just maintain 4,000. 4,000 for 2 Delta Lima. And Seattle approach, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima has Quebec at McCord. 2 Delta Lima, roger, uh, sliding 010 now. 010, 2 Delta Lima. Aircraft coming for fly following, say again. 60 Delta Lima, traffic 1 o'clock and about 4 miles, currently maneuvering westbound altitude indicates 2,200. Okay, we're looking to Delta Lima. Traffic in sight for 2 Delta Lima. 2 Delta Lima, I think. Then it does look like they're going to stay well below. 62 Delta Lima, turn routing 070, base turn. 070, 2 Delta Lima. Other aircraft calling approach, say again. Mooney 2560, Whiskey. 2560, Whiskey, go ahead. Set it for the base, you got the airport there. Diamond 2 Delta Lima, turn routing 140 to join the localizer for 16 into McCord. Okay, heading 140 to join the localizer, uh, 16 into McCord, 2 Delta Lima. Other aircraft are called Spigen. 140, and we will We're up the approach, the localizer, let's load, and... We're going to be coming in. We got the 73140 traffic, 1 to 2 o'clock, and about 2 and a half miles northwestbound, slowly converging with you. Altitude indicates 3,000. Let me. I advise you climb to 4,000 now. Which is 2,000. Climbing copter 73140, search for traffic, climbing for 4,000. 60 Delta Lima, you're about 10 miles from the port. Maintain 3,000 until established. You are cleared for the ILS runway 16 approach. Maintain 3,000 until established, cleared ILS 16 approach, 2 Delta Lima. Two Delta Lima again for the missed approach. Runway heading, maintain 3000. And runway heading, 3000, two Delta Lima. Zero Deco, practice approach Get approved. Get that to 2000, we're inbound. Maintain VFR, just advise when you're inbound. Full power back. Get okay, we'll inbound and uh, practice approach approved for Zero Deco. Six two Delta Lima, contact McCord Tower. We'll talk to you on the missed approach. Over to McCord. Thanks for your help, two Delta Lima. Core Tower, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima. We are just inside. Let me on the ILS 16. Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, McCord Tower, runway 16, wind 120 at 7, clear low approach. Clear low approach, 162 Delta Lima. We get down to 2000 before Cheney. So Cheney is. Actually, we're past. So we can go down to 1500 now. Yep, we go 1500, so we need to get down under the uh, glide slope to be able to capture it. But we are on the localizer, autopilot's on. There's my cord. Oh, we are. Okay, we're on the glide slope. Okay, so it looks like it's captured. So I'm going to put in here now. And then one inch of flaps at 33, so we're below 133, so we can put flaps in, pumps on, lights on. Here is down three green. And we'll bring power up to about 25. That would be a good speed for this approach. We are at 1400. Missed approach is 610. And runway heading, we're on runway heading and like 3,000, so we'll put in 3,000. Okay, we've got about 500 feet to go. Yes, speed looks good, we'll just put a little bit more of power in. There's some big transport planes off to the right there, one off to the left. We've got 200 feet to go, a little under 200 feet to go. Pick up on 600. Press the go-around button and full power. 700.
Okay, go around, full power. Pitch up. We get positive rate of climb, there's positive rate of climb, gear up. Gears up. Flaps up. Power back to 92. And McCord Tower, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima's missed approach. Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima, contact several departure. Over to departure, thanks for your help too, Delta Lima. Seattle departure, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima climbing through 1700 for 3000 missed approach at McCord. Delta Lima, Seattle approach, welcome back, radar contact, maintain 3000. Maintain 3000 too, Delta Lima. There we go, first approach at a military base. That went pretty smoothly. 60 Delta Lima, advising you have the rent and weather, they are showing Oscar current. We'll let you know we have Oscar too, Delta Lima. 60 Delta Lima, thanks. turn right, that's the right turn heading 340, back to proceed. Right turn 3402, Delta Lima. 60 Delta Lima, Alpha Con, maintain 4000. Uh, 340 and 4000, 2 Delta Lima. Captain 73140, turn right heading 040. Right turn heading 040 for Army Copter, 7040. 757 Kilo Mike, contact center on 124.2 today. I don't know if you can see it there, but we're testing the ISIC system, which we need to do every every 30 days. And it uh, looks like it's streaming off the wing there. All good. And same on that side. One a bit more than the other on the outboard, but that's not unusual. It can sometimes take the different panels, different types of Delta Lima, just to maintain 2000. Descent to maintain 2002 Delta Lima. Two. Yes, nose down. So we didn't get much of a chance to talk about things that I'm, I'm up to, but bottom line is last year I got my AGI certificate, which is Advanced Ground Instructor Certificate. So I've been thinking about getting my, my CFI and thought that ground instructor would be a, a good step to, to that. I've um, done some training teaching in the past, not a lot, but I have enjoyed it. So I uh, thought I'd give get the certificate and I've actually been doing private pilot ground school at Galvin Flying, which is at Boeing Field. So I've actually been running a couple of uh, classes there. I'm doing a private pilot express class right now and really enjoying it. I think it's, I think it's going well. Uh, to Delta Lima, flying 020. 0202 Delta Lima. There we go. Power looks good. I set it zero to zero. So anyway, yeah, I better fly the plane and we're coming up, getting ready for the approach. But yes, yeah, so I've been doing the ground instructor and I'm working on getting my multi-engine instructor rating uh, initial. So not doing the regular single engine CFI, but getting the, the yeah, multi seven, two, since two, I uh, have seven, this plane two, to, two, uh, to practice yeah. in. And now we'll concentrate on flying the approach. Two Delta Lima fighting zero six zero. Zero six zero two Delta Lima. Delta Lima in the turn, traffic 11 o'clock, 3 miles southbound, 1,800 indicated. Okay, we're looking at 2 Delta Lima. There we go. Two Delta Lima, traffic 11 o'clock, 2 miles southbound, 1,900 indicated. Turn left heading 340. Yeah, left turn 340. We do have the, actually, we do have the traffic inside. Uh, I think we'll pass over the top of the 2 Delta Lima. 2 Delta Lima, roger that. Maintain visual separation with that traffic. You can continue direct left seat. Visual separation and direct, let's see, 2 Dudley. 2 Dudley, I climb to 2,500 is approved if you need it. 2 Dudley. I think we're okay right now, we'll stay at 2,000. 2,000, let's see. Low, one mile. Yep, got them inside, seaplane. Okay, 3 miles to Lutzi. Just make sure we got distracted there. Go through the checklist again. Landing data, altimeters, comp navs are all set up. Safety harness, backrest, parking brakes released, rudder trim, ear warning, little beep. Landing lights are on. Okay, turning inbound. OK, 
Okay, we're inbound to Weebat. Just under six, uh, six miles. Weebat's the final approach fix. Number 62, Delta Luna, contact Red Tower. Over to Tower, thanks for your help too, Delta Luna. Red Tower, Twin Diamond 62, Delta Lima, just inside Lutzi on the RNAV, Zulu 16. Twin Diamond 62, Delta Lima, Renton Tower, Port C, final approach fix. Final approach fix, two Delta Lima. Report, we bet. Cessna 87, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Renton Tower, radio check. Renton Tower, Twin Diamond 62, Delta Lima is just coming up on, we bet. Twin Diamond 62, Delta Lima, runway 16, clear to land. 16, clear to land, two Delta Lima. For now, we're Delta, extend down, okay, over 4 like we'll like Twin Diamond over Mercer on the RNAV. 3 green. Extend down, we'll look to the traffic. One hundred dollars. Cessna 8287, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Renton Tower, radio check. Okay, disconnect the autopilot, that disconnects your damper as well. And we're looking for 85 across the numbers. Got three green. Delta, Romeo Delta, squeeze in a short approach here. Stop for now, Delta, make short approach, runway 16, clear touch and go. Your traffic's mid Mercer on the RNAV. Make a quick thing. Thank you. No, I'm going to Delta Lima, change the sequence. You're number two now, following sequence. Stop for now, Delta Lima, stop for now, over the golf course. Just now, 83 Alpha, extend up and I'll call crosswind. 83 Alpha, extend up and I'll call crosswind. Just now, 87 Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Renton Tower, radio check. I don't clear, 7 Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Roger, I have you the same now. I've been trying to get a hold of you for about five minutes now. Enter left down one. Enter left down one, 7 Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Renton Tower, 2 Delta Lima understands we're number two. Uh, it's still clear to land. Coming up on 500 feet. Runway Delta, you'll be following them, uh, showing uh, 100 knots. Runway's inside. Traffic inside, we'll extend and follow that sign every Delta. Cessna 87 Foxtrot, Foxtrot, number two, following the Twin Diamond Mile final. Runway 16, clear to land. Runway 16, number two, clear to land. 87 Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Okay, last bunch of flaps, we're below 113. Power. Cessna 83 Alpha number 3, following the Cessna, approach in down, one runway 16, cleared, touch and go. Yes, but it looks good. Diamond 62 Delta Lima, right turn Alpha 4, contact ground. Right turn Alpha 4 and over to ground 2 Delta.